Greetings, my name is Missy Lane and I'm the Youth Services Librarian in Queen Anne's County at the Ken Island Branch. I'm very excited for you guys to join me today so that we can make Pokeball terrariums together. As you can see, this is my terrarium. It has my Bulbasaur figure, two succulents, a moss bed, and a Pokeball style. So I'm hoping that you guys will enjoy making one of these together with me. I have my kit with all of my supplies and we'll go ahead and look through that to check everything out. Let's go ahead and put this down. And let's go ahead and let's unpack our kit. Okay, so let's take a look here at what is in our kit so that you can make sure you have all the pieces. So for, first, you're gonna wanna pull out your instruction guide and those instructions will tell you what else you need to have in your kit. So reach in, you should have a 3D printed Bulbasaur that we made at the library. And if you like this 3D printed figure, you can actually create 3D printed figures by bringing in files to the library. So you should have your Bulbasaur. You should have your clear terrarium. It should be in two pieces. And inside you'll find two succulents, two metal skewers, one half foam ball, a base that has a red checker to stabilize it, and you should also have a piece of moss in a square that has a sticky backing. Now careful when you open this up because this sheds a little bit, so it's like a little bit messy, and you should also have a black sharpie. So. The first step that you have is to open up your green moss. And you can do the first step in one of two ways. Either you can take your, your, um, your half foam ball, place it on, and take a Sharpie to draw a circle around your foam ball and cut it out with the scissors that you provide. You can peel the backing off of your piece, stick that onto your ball, and then trim the outside using your scissors. So we have this, and this will become this. So now the top of my foam ball has a piece of moss on it that has been stuck on using the sticky side. You can take that foam ball, and place it right into your terrarium to see what it will look like, just like that. The next step that you're going to do is you're going to take your ball, you're going to take a Sharpie, and you're going to add the Pokeball decal using your Sharpie. So the way that I did it was to just trace around the lip. Once you have drawn your line all the way around, we're also going to add the uh, Pokeball symbol on the front. And so that's gonna be a half circle on the bottom. And then later we'll put a half circle on the top. Let's go ahead and take a moment to do that. So now you can see that we have a half circle here, right here at the bottom, that makes our bottom of the Pokeball more accurate to what we're making. Now, the fabulous thing here is that the bottom of a Pokeball is white, and so is our foam ball. So now you just need to slide your foam ball into your Pokeball, and you can see that bottom line shows over the white. Now, you can add additional stabilization, to but don't add any glue until the end of the process so that everything fits. Stabilization to your Pokeball if you would like using any kind of clear glue. So you could put some clear glue at the bottom and place it in to hold, but it's not necessary. So if you do have hot glue, craft glue, anything along those lines, you can stabilize it a little bit more that way. The next thing you are going to do is you're going to take your succulents and you are going to push the piece of metal into the bottom of the succulent. It should stick out a little bit at the bottom like this. Some of the uh, metal won't go through easily, so if you take a pair of, uh, of something sharp, like a skewer, you can choose where you want your succulent and just gently add a little hole through the moss and into that foam ball. 
then take your succulent and push it into that space. So now we have a succulent that is secured in that spot. I'm going to take your second succulent and put your piece of metal into the second one. This is an additional opportunity to add a little bit of stabilization if you would like by adding a drop of glue inside. You are going to select your second location that you would like your uh, succulent to be. So you're gonna hold it steady, put a tiny hole through your moss and into your foam core just to make space for that. Then you're going to slide your second succulent right into that hole all the way down right there. So I'm gonna slide this around just so that you can see how I did it. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to Bulbasaur figure and place him where you would like him. Another opportunity to add a little drop of glue if you'd like to. You can place your top of your terrarium over. Now, if you find that you're having a hard time fitting everyone in there, go ahead and make small adjustments in order to slide Bulbasaur in. You may want to cut one of your succulents down a little bit if you have one of the taller ones like I do in this kit. And place him back in a little bit lower. Oh, and there was our problem. Our succulent was just a little too large in this one. So if you have the same problem, feel free to trim your succulent down just a little bit. Now. You can see the bottom circle of this line that I made. So you're gonna take your Sharpie and you're going to draw on a top circle. I'm gonna draw this on the outside and the inside just so that I can get it to look accurate. Coloring on the inside of your uh, Pokeball will last a little bit longer because it won't be exposed to the elements. Set your Sharpie aside. Plug your top onto your bottom. And once again, if you would like, you can add a little line of glue to permanently seal your terrarium if you would like to. And that is how you can use your supplies from your Pokeball Terrarium Kit to make a faux terrarium.